Are you ready to meet a virtual reality artist? I am! Dia Green does not only create animated worlds as a VR artist, but she is also a user experience and immersive designer at the Walt Disney Company. She's a multifaceted creative, and she's frontline in this whole new digital world of ours. So, welcome, Dia. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Of I'm course! So Thank you for coming to the Code Zone. Yes, girl. I'm so excited. Awesome! Okay, so we're gonna be playing Jenga to get to know you a little better. Okay. So basically, each of us will remove one block and place it at the top of the tower without making it collapse. If it collapses, that round of the game is over and another one begins. So as you can see, the tower has four different colors. Each color represents a theme. When you pull a specific colored block, you will have to answer a question from that color theme. The color themes include purple for childhood memories, red for career, green for inspiration, and blue for a challenge. Okay. So, ready to jump in? Yes. Uh, awesome. Go ahead. You can oh take God. Honors. Okay. I've never played Jenga before, so. <laughs> <clears throat> well, this is a great way to start at the code zone. Like. <laughs> yes, I love that. Let's try this. Ooh! Good First choice. green block. Okay, and then when you're ready, you can stack it on top. Okay, and then we'll put it on the top like that. Yep, awesome. So green for inspiration. Let's yes, get into it. Yes, ma'am. What's your design process and are storyboards involved? For AR design, storyboarding, I think is a little bit more important because it's a lot more visual and interactive than UX design. UX design is more foundational and then AR, is like uh, more hands-on so with a phone or with a VR headset. So storyboarding really helps to like lay out the visuals for that particular interaction. If that answered the question. That definitely <laughs> answered the question. Yeah, awesome. Yes, Great first question. Okay, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna try this orange. No, Ooh. no, no. Ooh. Oh. Oh, the perfect. Lord said, yes, she will. Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Career. Let's see. So, explain to us what a UX designer is. Mm -hmm. How is your job different than others in the industry? My favorite example to use is how do you watch Netflix on your phone versus how do you watch it on your laptop mm -hmm. versus your TV versus your like game station like PlayStation or Xbox. All those uh, require different user needs. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like what a UX designer does. They think about how a user interacts with these different digital products and interfaces and we try to make it a, an enjoyable experience for the user. Mm, I'm gonna go for... Uh, mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go for this purple Okay, one. good good choice. And we haven't done purple yet. No, I'm really... Awesome. It's these middle ones that are easy. Once I run out right. the middle ones... <laughs> you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Okay, guys. We are back for round two. Yes, I <laughs> unfortunately lost that round. It's okay, so. we are all winners in the code zone, okay? <laughs> okay, all right, your turn. I think you can get a purple one, because clearly- I think I can get a purple one, too. It's not meant for me. I want to get into these childhood memories, girl. That's what I'm saying. Okay, look at that. Easy peasy. Nice. So describe how you became a UX designer. I went to undergrad at Virginia Tech for industrial design, which is like physical product design. And then I quickly realized that industrial design was not what I wanted to do. So I was like, what can I do that still incorporates that same design process, but less hands-on and more on the digital side? So people that graduated from that industrial design program, they went on to be UX designers. So I just like reached out to them, connected. And after I realized that, okay, this sounds really interesting. This is what I want to do. That's when I started to look at grad school programs. I got into grad school in 2019. I was getting my master's in human-computer interaction for UX design. I feel like once I took that step, just the doors opened up for me. It was like the best decision ever yeah. for me. Okay, let me try this orange one. Like I said, these middle ones, yeah, that's, that's all one. me. That's all me. Perfect, okay. Career. We're doing pretty good though. No, good. Way better than the first one. <laughs> Way better. 
Okay, how is designing AR different from designing any other piece of digital art? I feel like AR is a mix between 2D and 3D elements mm -hmm. versus other, I guess, digital pieces of art. It's usually 2D. Augmented reality is still very, 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 very new, still very young. So I think that sets it apart, like how new it is, how much of an unknown it still is, and how it brings together like different elements into one handheld experience. Yeah. And look at that, we literally won. With two <laughs> rounds, I didn't mess up. I know, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for coming to thank the Code you. Zone and playing Jenga with me. You are such an inspiration. Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> well, I hope to have you back. Oh yeah, let's do this next <laughs> week. Awesome, <laughs> all right, see you guys.